Uh, CAPSI has always recognized the value of information, the value of data and measurement in both making the case for palliative care and evaluating and de demonstrating the outcomes. So from the very beginning, CAPSI has given the field and its members the tools that they need and also very clear directions and instructions to demystify the area of measurement and data collection as well as analysis. I think it's really important in all aspects of healthcare, including palliative care, to be able to demonstrate what exactly it is that we're doing. So who are we seeing? When are we seeing them? That kind of thing. As well as to demonstrate outcomes. So a lot of people don't understand what palliative care is and they're not sure how it works in the healthcare system. The more data you can bring to bear to make it clear what palliative care is and what value it brings to patients and families, as well as to institutions, the better off we're all going to be. I think a lot of people do have uh, apprehension about gathering data and about measuring their process or their outcomes of care. So that's, that is pretty common in the palliative care field. What I recommend is that people first focus on what it is they're trying to say. So beginning with the end in mind and trying to figure out, well, what story are you trying to tell with data or with measures about the work that you do? So if the story you're trying to tell is about the impact you have on patients, then you want to be gathering data on the impact on symptoms or on a more clear plan for goals of care and being in concordance in delivering care with those plans and wishes. If your goal is to demonstrate that you're able to keep patients out of the emergency department and out of the hospital toward the end of life, then that's the kind of thing that you would focus on too. And the, the stakeholder or the audience for those kinds of data might be the institution, it might be a payer, but also, again, the community and the patients and the families, because no one who is in an advanced stage of disease or very frail wants to be making multiple trips to the emergency department.